Alright guys, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, and in the last episode, we did some stuff, and in this episode, we're gonna do even more stuff. Did you ever see that coming? Did you ever see that coming? I don't think so. You thought you were just gonna look at a blank screen this episode, but no. We're gonna actually do things. And by things, I mean explore the Petalberg Woods. So, here in the Petalberg Woods, you're gonna get tons of bug Pokemon. And also, a lot of trainers, so this is a very good place to grind, especially if you have the fire type, like I do. With the elemental move, you're gonna take out literally everything. So that's good. Flame Core. I'm starting to regret that name choice, it's starting to bug me. It sounds weird. Flame Core. I don't know, when we get to the next name changer, we might change it. Flame Core, gain 34 experience. Wild. So now we're just gonna spam on the Ember button. I'm so glad I'm away from those days, though. When I was a noobly Pokemon player, when I got my first Pokemon game and I was like really young, I was so bad. I picked Charmander and I didn't catch one Pokemon through the entire game. I just spammed one move. And Charmander was. or Charizard, I guess I should say, was like level 100 by the end of the game. So we got a Paralyzed Heal. So glad I'm done with those days. So there was a Paralyzed Heal, which is going to be helpful in this place, the Radiant Forest. I'm not even going to bother fighting you. Do I have any repels? Hopefully. Hey, Silcoon. Guess what? You're about to be set on fire. How do you like that? Because I like killing you. That sounds messed up. Okay, do I have any repels? No, not Pokemon. Uh, I don't have any repels, of course not. Why would I even think I did? Hello, guy. Hmm, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dwaddle in the Petalberg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. I am! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on, battle me. It's kind of messed up. So here we got... Team Aqua Grunt. I wonder what the evil team in this is. Not Team Aqua. I just realized something. These teams are kind of like gangs, but they actually have a meaning to them, other than to just make money. Well, Team Rocket is there to make money, but gangs are a lot worse, but these guys remind me of, like, gang members. Ha, ah, you're out of Pokemon. To think, they would let the guy go s who's gonna go steal the papers, why would they just give them one Pokemon? Smart planning, Team Aqua. Smart planning. Thanks to you, we didn't rob me of those important papers. Review Great Ball. Okay, thank you for that. A Team Aqua thug said they were after something in Rustbro. Uh-oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Well, uh, I can't waste time either. Because I am recording a video. And you cannot waste time, or else people will click away. I don't know what I'm doing here. I have no idea what I'm talking about. 
Yay! Experience. Yo. Bug guy. Fight me. So I can spam Ember all over your face. And all your Pokemon shall die. Or faint. Probably faint. Unless there's a glitch or this is a hacked game. So that means they're kind of a hundred percent gonna faint. Just about a hundred percent. Yep. Fainted. I really don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Die all of you. And Kata. Bugcatcher James. We'll go back to Team Rocket James. Is Jesse hiding in the woods behind you in that tree? Hey Poochie. Anna. And you're dead. Ether. Those are nice. Always nice to have hit points. Power points. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone watching this knows how to play Pokemon. We don't have cut yet. So let's just go on into Route 104. We got a flower shop here where you can't really buy anything yet. Wilmer Pale here. If you talk to her, and that is used to grow berries, which I'm not gonna really do because the time thing, I don't know how to get it to work. I've been trying to get it to work, but it's not the real time thing. My name is Energy, that's a nice name. It's a name that doesn't exist, so yeah, it's a nice name. Uh, not really, because I'm not gonna be able to do it. Big sisters. Okay, cool. So we get a berry if we talk to her. I know. Candy too. All right. Now if we go behind the store, there is a bunch of stuff for you here, like a hidden Pokeball, a potion. And I can't remember, is there anything else in here? Alright, hello, Taylo. Guess what, everyone? We are finally gonna have our first Pokemon on the team. Meet Taylo, the new member of the team. I don't know, I just felt like using Taylo. I think Taylo is the most underrated out of all the starter birds, like seriously. I've never seen, or I really ever seen a run of this game where anyone actually uses Taylo on the final team. So I think we're gonna give Taylo a bit of attention here. And it's a girl. Caught with a great ball because I didn't want to waste time. So nicknames, oh God. How about I'm just gonna mash a bunch of random letters together. Fe, fe, bo, nor, Fepinorion. The coolest name, Fepinorion. It's really long, Fepinorion. Jeez, that's gonna be hard to pronounce. Whatever. Fep. We'll call you Fep for short. Poochiana, get out of my life. And it's actually really helpful if you uh, catch... Oh, there is another item. I was beginning to think there wasn't anything else here. But it's actually good to catch another Pokemon because coming up, there is a double battle, and if you only have one Pokemon, they won't battle you. And it's good XP, so you just might want to do that. I'm gonna pick these berries real quick. 
And if I'm not mistaken, we're about to get a lot of money because why? We're gonna fight a rich kid. I have a lot of money. That's what I just said. Thank you for helping my case. Rich boy Winston. Zigzagoon. Should probably try my new Pokemon out. Fepinorion. Fep. Come out here, Fep. Alright, what do you got? Ooh, you're pretty much screwed, so... I'm just gonna do the old... Fashion tactic of switching out. I hate this tactic because it's tedious and really annoying. Can't wait till we get the XP share. Speaking of XP share, in X and Y, the new XP share mechanic, or well, it's not really new, it's how it used to work, but uh, they brought it back. And I don't know if I'm, I like it or I don't like it. Because it's kind of cheap. I mean, the game wasn't all that hard. It was kind of easy. I mean, the story mode, of course. But, I don't know. I mean, it makes it a lot more accessible. It makes it so you can, mid-game, just catch a new Pokemon and just restart your whole team. I mean, it's great, but it makes the game easy. But it also makes it a bit more fun, but it makes it less fun because it's too easy. It's contradicting logic, but that's how it is. It's a love-hate relationship, is what that is. Don't growl at me. You're just a lily pad with a face, so... I don't even know. What sound will a lily pad make? I don't even know. Splash sounds... I don't know. And I should probably give Fe 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 a bit more screen time. The shroomish. Take him out with the peck. No, you did not even half the damage I thought you were going to. Uh oh. Okay, thank you. The shroomish is gonna be stupid. Let's see if he can be stupid twice in a row. Nope, he's gonna be smart. Okay, apparently that's not gonna do that much damage. Yay, Fep, you won your first battle. I got a lot of experience out of it. You shouldn't have battled indeed. Alright, let's heal Fep up because I was just talking about this double battle and here it is. This dub a battle with these baby girls, baby children. Maya. And Lisa, I think, if I remember this game. Gina, okay, I don't remember that name. I do remember someone who's named Lisa. I don't know, maybe it's another game. Whatever. Yo, you, you, no, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. It's gonna target Lotad anyways. Yeah. And, of course. You're gonna make your useless lily pad sounds again. Scratch. Isn't Pepinorion or Taylo supposed to start out with quick attack? Speaking of which, there it is, quick attack. Thank you for learning that, Fepinorion. Hello, fishermen. These guys are known to have a lot of Pokemon, so you might want to have someone who can endure. I say that as I bring out my weakest Pokemon. Out of my hole, too. But whatever, I want you to get experience. And plus, these are Magikarp. Easy kills, easy kills. Let's see what does more. Quick attack! Okay, well apparently not gonna be able to judge, because we got a crit. Another carp. 
What I was going to say is, let's see what's better. Quick attack? Or peck? Well, that doesn't matter. Because uh, they're different levels. So, we may never know what is better against this Magikarp team. You're gonna be level 7, aren't you? I knew it! Well, it's kind of obvious. Is this gonna be better? Nope. Is Quick Attack gonna be any better? Yep. I don't know, actually. Probably. I looked like it did more damage. Just take you out, Peck. Yeah. More berries, yay! And a grandma, who's gonna give me berries every day. But since the time thing is broken, then, nope. Wait, are you the person who gives berries to me every day? Maybe it's not you. I don't know, I wasn't reading the text. Thank you for the Lepa berries. Yeah. And uh, there's an item back of here. Right here. X defend. I don't really use the X items. Unless I need to. And here we are. Whoa. Ooh, that was really bad. Voice crack. Here we are in Respiro City. The next city of the game. Hello, what do you want? Wow, you have a Pokemon with you too. When I get bigger, I'm going to go places with Pokemon too. Isn't that what every kid wants? I mean, even if a kid doesn't like Pokemon, they gotta admit, going on a Pokemon journey and not going to school ever is kind of awesome. I mean, a little kid, of course. But older people wouldn't think that, like, in high school. Okay, let's go. You, Pokemon Trainer School. Guess what is in the school, speaking of school. This school for Pokemon, but not normal school. That's odd. Just like Hogwarts. I've been thinking of that. I mean, in Hogwarts, they only learn about magic stuff. How do they learn about, like, math and all that junk? Useful, but it's junk. It's useful, but it's junk. Which doesn't make any sense. Alright, we got this fool we met who we don't really know that well. Hello, did we, we meet before? Yes, Mac and Petalburg. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm already a battle expert. I bet I could take you out and anyone on the next route. So what brings you to this school? Are you a trainer too? First thing you should do is ha have a Pokemon learn the move cut. If I remember correctly, someone in the town has cut. He's not lying, someone in the town does have cut. And this guy is gives you the quick claw. And I completely neglected to talk about it when I got it. But Quick Claw is kind of awesome. It randomly makes the user go first in battle sometimes, so that's cool. Here's the gym. Not gonna challenge it yet. I'm gonna wait until a certain something happens. Not gonna spoil what. Challenge a gym leader, but it's not gonna be easy winning with my fire type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon don't match up well against Rock-type Pokemon. Exactly, and neither do Flying-types. So guess what I'm gonna do? Yep. For the end of this episode, I'm gonna sneak peek on this route just a little bit. So I can try to get 
flame core to evolve. Yes, that's right. Evolve. Not digivolve, but just normal evolve. And that should be kind of easy. Because you get a lot of experience in early Pokemon games, and I love that. But later in the game, you get like one level for ten battles. I'm just gonna use an easy heck on this guy. How can clicking a button be hard? I said easy peck. What's a hard peck? You have to click like 20 buttons on the... Like 20 buttons at once. That's a hard peck. An easy peck is clicking one button. Hard peck is clicking every single button. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about hard pecks. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good at all. All right, face me, bug guy, bug guy. That's your name. It's not Jose or Josie or Jose. It's probably Jose. I'm just gonna burn all of your Pokemon up and turn them in into experience. Melt them into experience for me. Fight me. I'm just gonna kill you all right here on the spot. Oh boy, I'm getting less and less experience. One more level, come on, we can do it, Flame Cole. We can do it. A repel! I was looking for one of you guys back in Viridian Forest. Come on, give me the good XP, steady, steady girl. You study, study, study. School kid Karen. Flame Core is going to destroy you, Shroomish. Who evolves into a really good Pokemon. Oh boy, this episode's getting long, I guess. We are just gonna have to evolve Flame Core in the next episode. See you guys next time on Pokemon.